Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, welcome to the Jeremy Show. Um, yeah, this is another late night shift. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, this is a late night shift. It's 12 a.m. Um, I'm going to probably be working until uh, probably 4.30 a.m. You know, that's life. Uh, you know, usually I'm with uh, Sahara, my little girl, all day long, you know, full-time dad mode. Um, and then I get to knock out work, you know, around vampire hours. Uh, so every time you guys see me, most likely, you know, I'm going to have some burning eyes. You know, they might even, they might be red. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, one second, need some water. But um, bottom line, I can watch this a million times. But right now, I'm going to watch it with you guys. And then we're going to get on to the show. All right. So hang with me. I'm going to hang with you. I told you in episode two um, that Black Panther is going to be sick. It's going to be sick. I'm so excited about Black Panther. It's going to be such a statement in the industry. Uh, just some new flavor in the game. You know, Luke Cage was cool um, as far as Netflix and you know, but and Blade was cool. If you go, you know, go back a little bit. Spawn had a little something, something. You know, it came out before its time, in my opinion. Uh, but this Black Panther, I'm telling you, oh man, oh man, it's gonna set a new standard. You're talking about the new badass in Marvel Universe. I'm telling you. Um, anyway, let's check out this trailer. Can watch this a million times. All right. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits. All the front. Explorers have searched for it. Called it El Dorado. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. I'm the only one who's seen it. And made it out alive. to the episode. <laughs> As promised, this episode is all about Black Panther, which is scheduled to hit theaters on February 16th, 2018. So let's get into it. Black Panther is arguably the most important Marvel Studios film yet. It's been two years, but buzz is already building about the movie, the cast, and the hero himself. 
Black Panther has a chance to be truly unique and groundbreaking for a variety of reasons. The success of this movie at the box office will without a doubt help strike a death blow against the false premise that minority-led films don't sell or that people of color aren't bankable. Immediately following the character's appearance in Captain America's Civil War and the announcement of the solo film, the hashtag Black Panther so lit immediately began to trend. Marvel is also in a power position to break away from the all too common Hollywood portrayals and Western stereotypes of Africa. Portraying an African nation that is rich in technology and culture beyond any other country on earth is not only refreshing from a storytelling standpoint, but could also be important in shifting the way that Africa is thought of by Western audiences. With Black Panther, Audiences will get a film set in a fictional nation focused on a solo superhero rather than a full-on squad like Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers, which offers a wealth of creative opportunities. The story takes place in Wakanda, an elusive, hyper-advanced African nation best known for its most valuable natural resource, vibranium, which makes it one of the richest and most technological advanced nations on Earth. Vibranium is most commonly known as one of the materials used to construct Captain America's shield. Chadwick Boseman will play as Black Panther alongside Michael B. Jordan as the villain Eric Killmonger, Lupita Nyong'o as the love interest and future enemy, and Denai Guerrero will play as the head of Black Panther's all-female security team. The critically acclaimed director, Ryan Coogler, will be bringing this franchise story to life. Black Panther is gifted with enhanced senses and physical attributes by a heart-shaped herb that connects the hero to the panther god, Bast. In both the comics and the films, Black Panther's suit is lined with vibranium, making him highly resistant to bullets and other weaponry. Black Panther is also a brilliant tactician, strategist, scientist, tracker, and a master of all forms of unarmed combat, whose unique hybrid fighting style incorporates acrobatics and aspects of animal mimicry. Other than being a freaking genius, Black Panther also possesses Olympic level strength, speed, agility, stamina, and reflexes. Oh, and superhuman senses. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this cat is not only king of Wakanda, he is also king of the dead, but not in a vampire zombie sense. He's able to channel and implement all of the knowledge, skills, and powers of all Black Panthers before him. Black Panther also doesn't rule alone. He has an all-women fighting force whom are recruited from every different sect in Wakandan politics, and they're meant to represent potential queens. Cool fact. In many of the comics, Black Panther and Storm are married, presiding over Wakanda as king and queen. Yup, that Storm. The sometimes leader of the X-Men and ruler of Wakanda were married in a huge Wakandan ceremony, surrounded by their superhero friends and allies. Eventually, the marriage was annulled because Black Panther felt he had to focus more on being a king than a husband. This will not be mentioned in the film. Cool fact, he was the first black superhero in mainstream comics back in 1966, months before the creation of the Black Panther Party. Cool fact, way back in June 1992, Wesley Snipes first announced his attention to play the Black Panther, and this was when Wesley was in his prime. Then in 1993, he said it would be his next film after Demolition Man. He fought and fought for a decade, claiming he'd star in Black Panther right after Blade Trinity in 2003. But Marvel reportedly didn't want one actor playing both iconic heroes at that point. I haven't been this excited about a film since The Matrix. It's going to break box office records, and I believe it'll most likely become the hottest of the Marvel franchises if it's given an equal marketing push similar to the Iron Man films. Be sure to check the film out, February 16th, 2018. And get ready for the next episode of The Jeremy Show. You can find various links about the film in the description box below. See you on the next episode. Peace.